Like with most iconic foods, so what you got is a juicy product. The origin story of this Chicago sandwich is fuzzy. This is Chicago's number one. We were the first ones to do it. But Chris Paselli Jr., the co-owner of the legendary Al's Beef in Chicago's Little Italy neighborhood, credits his grandfather Anthony Ferreri. He's the one who created this item. Here is how the story goes. Around a hundred years ago, Ferreri, a street peddler, saw people at an Italian wedding slicing a roast beef by hand and making sandwiches out of it. Ferreri realized he could make a killing by slicing beef much thinner with his daily machine. We cut it so thin that you can almost see through it if you see the light over here. Today, Paselli says the century-old recipe hasn't changed much. And how do you last that long as consistency? The multi-day process starts with start these two 15-pound cuts of sirloin butt. Years ago, these used to come in barrels, but now, different laws. <laughs> Submerged in water with garlic and 16 other secret seasonings. Oregano, for sure. Hard to tell. After cooking for three and a half hours at 425 degrees, the sizzling roast beef is already scrumptious, even though it's far from ready to serve mm. up. Oh my God, it's perfectly tender. The next step is straining and preserving the juice. Then, after cooling down the beef for 24 hours, it gets trimmed sliced paper thin each slice will be uniform and reintroduced to the simmering juice well come on out here now up front the sandwich gets assembled in three quick steps like serving the like dripping this. beef on a french loaf i'm not getting burnt all the juice is coming down dipping the whole sandwich in the juice and adding the hot jardinier the jardinier is spread along here Everybody thinks it's a garbage can. We call it Italian Tupperware. <laughs> Chicago-style jardinier, which means from the garden in Italian, is typically a medley of chopped and pickled vegetables. But here it's just celery and spices. Now it has to sit for three days. In addition to creating the sandwich, and this is the Italian beef sandwich. Pacelli says his family also invented how to eat it. We call it the Italian stance. Italian you're stance. Gonna, you're going to stand back about a foot. Okay, about the a foot. The reason for that is, you see how juicy this is? <laughs> yeah. So when you eat it, it's going on the floor. It's not going on your shirt. Do you see what mm. I'm talking about? Now you don't oh taste God, nothing else so but me. Today, you can find Italian beef around the country. But Al's Beef customers say you gotta come here to get the authentic experience. I think it's hard to find any beef like this anywhere else. I mean, it's impossible, really. We even came across a man visiting from Phoenix who used to eat here in the 1980s and gets emotional every time he comes back. I don't mean to be melodramatic about it, but I do get wistful. As for Paselli, he says he's thankful to the TV show The Bear for putting his family's invention in the national spotlight. We created a product that America could love, and we just needed someone to put it out there and present it to the country and the rest of the world. Ben Shamiso, Scripps News, Chicago.